their buzz and I'm not gonna stick around. Let them do their thing. Give them some space. I don't want them to come at me. Or you. No, definitely leave it in. Good morning. The sun has yet to rise, and yet here I am. I've drove about an hour from the new house down to the old homestead, and I'm here to recover our bees. Sorry for the lack of lighting. I won't really be able to film the process, but letting it go on record that I'm doing this right now. I am practicing safety precautions as I am uh, sort of allergic. I do have an EpiPen and I'm wearing my bee suit. I'm about to tape their entrance shut. I'm going to ratchet strap them down and then I'm going to wheel them up my homemade ramp onto my trailer to take them to their new home. Wish me luck. Alright. Still can't see me very well. <laughs> but the bees are secure, so let me show you. See it's light, lightly misting. I have the bees secure. I have their entrance taped shut. I put an entrance reducer in there first because I want to minimize any casualties. I just couldn't couldn't bear the thought of my bees getting stuck on the tape just because I taped it shut. So there's an entrance reducer inside. So hopefully uh, we don't get too much of that. Uh, the orange strap is strapping the entire box together. That's super tight. The blue strap is securing the secured boxes to the hand truck, which is chalked in place tightly with that pallet. So that's not going anywhere. And then for added measure, I have the heavy duty strap strapping down the entire thing to the trailer itself. Uh, so this thing is not going anywhere. I'm probably safe to take off my bee suit. And that concludes part A of this mission. Part B will be transporting to the new homestead and then offloading and setting them in their final spot. We have arrived at the new homestead. Need to offload these bees, let them settle down, because I'm sure they are probably not very happy with me. Um, and once they get settled in, I'll take the tape off and they can come on out. Honey. Yes? You said go get the bees. Um. I got your bees. Yeah, I am so excited to have my native bees have a place. But where's my honeybees? Oh, they're over there. <gasps> oh, you're moving fast today, boy. I'm still in my pajamas. I am literally still in my pajamas. You did that all by yourself. I did. Well, let's finish it off then. Let's finish it. I'm so excited to have my babies home. It's like now all my animals are home. I th yeah, they are. <laughs> All right, we scouted out an area. We figured by this utility pole would be good. It's open, it's sunny. We can give them south facing and they'll be um, up against something that we have to mow around anyway. So perfect situation, right? Mitzi, you think so? Kitties are adjusting well. Boxes are on it anyway, but I wanna try to make them level when we get them here. I feel better every day The troubles I had have been washed away I'm cleaning up my act and moving on In the 
Don't mind Peter, he's just trying to get a girlfriend to come visit him. I'm gonna go check and see who's in heat that he's hollering for and put them in in a minute. Gotta get this done first. They're getting antsy in there. Or buzzy. I wonder what all the buzz is. <laughs> They're gonna be so mad and so happy all at the same time. <laughs> So let me forget to put a little debris by the door when you uh, take it off. And it's probably a good idea to leave the entrance reducer in. They're going to have to do a reorientation flight. Do you have a handful of debris to put in front of the door after you take the tape off? Just pick some grass from behind you? Yeah. Okay. Just like a band-aid, quick and easy. Just, yep, just like that. Take your honey maker. All righty. The bees are out. Good work, Ryan, good work. Oh, they're buzzing. I'm not gonna stick around. Let them do their thing, give them some space. I don't want them to come at me, or you. Yeah, I, I question leaving the hive reducer 
like no, definitely leave it in. What are you yelling about, big guy? You wanted to be part of the B film? Okay. Okay, buddy. Ah! <laughs> I don't have any peanuts. Blubber, babe. Alright, who's got a date with the boys? Huh? Who's in heat? Somebody's in heat because he smells you from a mile away. Hello, hello. <laughs> you just want hay. I'll give you some more hay. Yeah. Man, they love hay. We had a hard time finding the right kind at the new feed store, but we finally got some okay Bermuda that they'll eat. It's not the best, but the alfalfa prices are ridiculous right now, so yeah. Bermuda will be just fine. I did it. Completed my mission. <laughs> Recovered the bees from the other homestead and brought it here to the new one. Now there can be pollination and honey for all. Thanks for watching.